Hello students. In this video, I'll be discussing or deriving expression for divergence in terms of orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. Now consider a vector in the orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system. So we have F1 EU plus F2 EV plus F3 EW. Now, EU can be written in terms of H1 grad U. EV can be written in terms of H2 grad V. And EW can be written in terms of H3 grad W. Also, we have EU to be EV cross EW. So F in the summation form, this is F1 EU, which we will replace it with F1 EV cross EW. So F, if I call this as one, this as two, and this as three. So two, we have used two and three here. So summation F1 H2 grad B cross H3 grad W, which simplifies to F1 H2 H3 grad B cross grad W. Now, divergence of vector f is summation divergence of f1, h2, h3, grad v cross grad w. Now, this is a scalar. Whereas this bracket term here is a vector. So we can apply the vector identity divergence of divergence of phi into vector f. This is phi divergence of vector f plus grad phi dot vector f. Therefore, divergence of vector f is equal to summation divergence of so phi will be f1 h2 h3 into divergence of grad v cross grad w plus gradient of f1 h2 h3 dot grad v 
cross grad W. Now divergence of F cross G, this is curl F dot G plus F dot curl G. Therefore, divergence of grad V cross grad W will be curl of grad V dot grad W plus grad V dot curl of grad W. Now curl of grad phi is always zero. Therefore, divergence of grad V cross grad W will be zero. Now divergence, the gradient of psi in curve, orthogonal curvilinear coordinates is one by H1. Do psi by do u e u plus one by h two do psi by do v e v plus one by h three do psi by do w e w. Therefore, gradient of f one h two h three will be. 1 by h1 do by do u of f1 h2 h3 eu plus 1 by h2 do by do v of f1 h2 h3 plus 1 by h3 do by do w of F1, H2, H3. So we'll call this as equation four, this as five, and this as equation six. So five and six in four. Five and six in four. So divergence of F will be the first term is zero. Here this should be EV and EW here. So 1 by H1 do by do U F1 H2 H3 EU plus 1 by H2 do by do V of F1 H2 H3 EV plus 1 by H3 do by do w of f1 h2 h3 e w dot grad b is e v by h2 cross grad w is e w by h3 Now, if 
e w dot e e u dot e v cross e w this will be equal to 1 whereas e v dot e v cross e w will be 0 and so will be e w dot e v cross e w. The second and third term in the summation here go to 0 because of the box product with two parallel vectors will be 0, whereas the box product of three mutually perpendicular vectors will be 1. So divergence of f will be summation 1 by h1 dou by dou u of f1 h2 h3. So expanding this divergence of f will be 1 by h1. So here we have h2 and h3. So that will be summation 1 by h1, h2, h3 dou by dou u of f1, h2, h3. So divergence of f will be 1 by h1, h2, h3 into dou by dou u of f1, h2, h3 plus dou by dou v of f2, h3, h1 plus dou by dou w of f3, h1, h2. So in Cartesian form, we recover the usual definition. So in cylindrical form, divergence of F will be 1 by R this 1 by rho dou by dou rho of F1 rho plus dou by dou theta of F2 plus dou by dou phi of dou by dou z of F3 into rho. In spherical form, divergence of f will be 1 by r into r sine theta dou by dou r of f1 r squared sine theta dou by dou theta of F2 R sine theta plus dou by dou phi of F3 into R. <laughs>